This episode of Prop 3D is brought to you by Autodesk. Hello gang and welcome to Prop 3D. I'm Builder Ann, prop and costume maker, and this is our series all about using 3D printers to make props and pieces for your costumes. Since there's a new Star Wars movie coming out, of course, I have to make my own lightsaber. Yes, because everyone knows a Jedi makes his own lightsaber. If you caught last week's episode, we built this Batarang. The lightsaber, on the other hand, is going to be finished in a completely different way. However, before we could start doing that, we've got to model it for 3D printing. I've got a link in the description to a full video on the modeling if you want to go check that out. But here is the abbreviated version. The design for this lightsaber was my own. I just sketched it out on a piece of paper and figured out the rough dimensions using a PVC pipe so I knew kind of how long and how wide it should be. Most of the pieces for this lightsaber are just cylinders that I modified in some way. Now I designed all of these pieces to be printed out separately and then glued together later on. And I also designed them so that they would print with the circular parts facing parallel to the print bed. So I modeled out a bunch of cylinders and I also extruded some plugs in and out of the top and bottom of those pieces so that they could be glued together later on. I wanted there to be some really cool ridges on uh, part of the handle. So so I uh, modeled my cylinder and then I made a bunch of taller, thinner cylinders using a radial uh, pattern and copied them all around the edge and then using some boolings, I subtracted them leaving uh, some really cool looking knurled kind of looking edges on there. I also left a space on the side of that part for the switch to be glued to. I wanted the switch to be printed in a different orientation. So I modeled it separately, but I also left a spot on the handle to glue it in place. I also wanted to have a part here that's actually just a, uh, an aluminum tube. It's not 3D printed. So in some of the lightsaber parts, I modeled holes to glue that in there. Finally, this top part where the lightsaber blade shoots out, I uh, made a little bit of a loft to make a tapered cone bit. And then I cut a chunk out of the middle and then I cut a whole slice off the side so that it looks like a lightsaber top emitter part blade thing. Once I was happy with all of the pieces, I sent them over to my 3D printer to get printed out. I had to make sure they were all lined up on the print bed, all nice like so that they would all fit because I wanted to print all these parts all in one go. Now this print took about 10 and a half hours, I think it took a while. I had to add a bunch of support material to make sure that some of the overhangs worked out okay. But uh, in the end, it turned out pretty good. The Dremel here popped it out in, uh, in just, under, just under 11 hours. I did have one piece get loose on me, I'm not really sure what happened, but since it was only the one piece, I just went back and reprinted that one part. Now for the finishing on here, I wanted it to look like metal, and there are a lot of different ways we could do that, but one of the simplest and quickest ways to do it is to cover your pieces in aluminum foil tape. You can go to the hardware store and pick this stuff up pretty cheaply. It's got adhesive backing on it, so you don't have to glue it and you don't have to paint it, it just looks like metal. For the most part, I just sanded my pieces down a little bit to make sure they were nice and smooth, and then I would cut out chunks of the aluminum tape, wrap it around the handle part, and uh, trim it up so that it would look like a bit of aluminum metal on the, uh, the part. A lot of this uh, is a little bit of trial and error. Fortunately, the tape, you can peel off if you screw it up, if you get too many uh, wrinkles in it. You can just peel it away, try again. Uh, but for the most part, I just kind of wrapped everything like a present, using some tools to wedge bits of tape down into some of these crevices here for this ridged part, and uh, folding it around again like a present for the switch. Uh, and then this part here, I tried something new. When I was at the craft store, I saw they had an adhesive backed wood. It's a really thin veneer of wood with a uh, adhesive on the back of it. So I tricked it the same thing. Instead of using the tape, I just used some wood and it is, it's real wood in there and it just wraps right on there and sticks down just like the tape. Some of the more beveled parts, I had to make sure I matched them down. The finish isn't amazing on this, but again, like I said, it's real metal. It looks real and it's really fast. I just used a plastic spudger to mash the pieces down as much as I could and then I would use a sharp knife to trim off any extra. Once I was happy with all the tape on there, all the pieces could be fitted together and then glued together. Some of the, uh, some of the connections were a little tight, so I just had to sand them a bit, but then I could glue them together. Uh, I mashed my aluminum rod in. I had to drill out those holes a little bit, but I got the aluminum rod in there as a little bit of a spacer. 
and I put my whole lightsaber together. Ta-da! There you go, guys. Another really fun project to do with your 3D printer. The thing I like the most about this is because everyone has their own lightsaber, you can design your own. Or you could even try and match like Luke's lightsaber or Darth Vader's lightsaber. Uh, the sky is the limit. You have a lot of leeway to play with your 3D modeling skills and your finishing skills on this. Thanks for checking this video out, guys. Of course, we have last week's Batarang video you ought to check out if you haven't already. And we have a whole bunch more prop making videos at your disposal on our channel. If you're new, please subscribe. We have a whole bunch of really cool prop and costume making videos. We have more coming out and another 3D printing video coming out next week. So buckle up, guys. It's about to get crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow.